Hello and thank you for joining me now. Today I want to share something about the war on Christmas versus Xmas. Every winter season, media commercials, shopping malls, and advertisements urge us to take advantage of Xmas sales and offers. The word Xmas, X M A S, is easier to use than advertisements, and as a result, it has become associated with the commercialization of Christmas. Some Christians take offense to the word Xmas, and have called for the abolition. So, why is it so controversial? Where did Xmas originate? Let us look at this. For some, for some, Xmas is a dreaded four-letter word that re-emerges every year, every year in Christmas. They say that Xmas is literally and symbolically distasteful. Not only does it X out Christ. It also represents a secularization of Christmas, according to the version of some Christians. There is a misconception that the word Xmas stems from a secularizing tendency to de-emphasize the religious tradition from Christmas. By taking the Christ out of Christmas, nevertheless, this usage dates back to the 16th century, with the X deriving from the New Testament Greek spelling of Christos. The origins lie in the Greek language and alphabet. The letter that looks like X is the Greek letter Chi in English, which is the first letter of the Greek word for Christ. Most scholars agree the abbreviation was used as early as the year one zero two one, but some others say that. In the early fourth century, Constantine, the great Roman emperor from three zero six to three three seven A.D., popularized the shorthand for Christ. Since then, we find authors like Bernard Ward, Samuel Galrich, and Lewis Carroll use the word Xmas in their books and. Uh, the poets and the songwriters have started using the word Xmas in their poems and songs. Even in dictionary, the word was included. But in United Kingdom, the former Church of England Bishop of Blackburn, Alan Chesters, recommended to his clergy that they avoid the spelling. In the United States, in 1977, New Hampshire Governor Milton Thompson sent out a press release saying that he wanted journalists to keep the Christ in Christmas and not call it Xmas, which he called a pagan spelling for Christmas. In 1957, the Church League of America attacked the use of Xmas in an article. X is equal to the unknown quantity. The 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 claims were picked up later by Gerald Elgie Smith, who in December 1966 claimed that Xmas was a blasphemous omission. In the name of Christ, Dennis Prater, writing for Christian website The Voice, states 
There are always those who loudly decry the use of the abbreviation Xmas as some kind of blasphemy against Christ and Christianity. Among them are evangelists Franklin Graham and former CNN contributor Roland S. Martin. Franklin Graham stated in an interview, he said, For us as Christians, this is one of the most holy of holidays. The birth of our Savior Jesus Christ and for people to take Christ out of Christmas. They are happy to say Merry Xmas. Let us just take Jesus out. And really, I think, a war against the name of Jesus Christ. What Franklin Graham, the son of Billy Graham, wants to say is that it is as if when we greet Merry Xmas, it is as if we are taking out the Savior Jesus Christ out of Christmas. So he says this is a really big war against the name of Jesus Christ. Roland Martin likewise relates the use of Xmas to his growing concerns of increasing, commercializing, and secularization of one of Christians' highest holidays. On the surface, it certainly looks like Xmas shoves Christ out of Christmas. But we learn that the word Xmas actually dates back to Christianity's genesis. The early Christians were quite fond of symbols, the Cairo symbols itself, the X in R symbol, predates Christianity. So we find that the early church members, they were very much fond of using symbols. That's how this X, this Chi Rho symbol also started. So what I want to tell you is that the choice is yours. There's no offense in using Xmas. Also, if you don't want to use Xmas, it's up to you. According to one survey, 42% of Christians saying it was offensive to use Xmas. Nearly 6 out of 10 evangelical Christians, that is 59%, find the use of Xmas offensive. When I tell you whether to use Xmas or Christmas is your choice, you may also feel like asking me which one I will choose. I want to say I will choose Christmas. Since childhood, when I saw the word Xmas and Christmas cards or in different programs, I used to hate the very word Xmas. So I personally had never used this the word Xmas and even today I will not use Xmas. I would rather use Christmas. But I want to tell you whether you choose Xmas or Christmas, it is okay as long as you have the spiritual understanding of the true meaning of Christmas. We know that for Christians, the true meaning of Christmas is love. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. This is the true meaning of Christmas. God's love is for everyone. God's love is for you and for me. You are not excluded. You are loved just the way you are. And this Christmas time, this is an opportunity for us to wait and give thanks 
to the Lord for His love, for the love, for the hope, for the redemption, and for the joy that is found in Jesus Christ. It is not the word Xmas or Christmas, but if we can understand the real meaning, the true meaning of Christmas, which is love, hope, joy, peace, and sharing. If we can think about those good things and worship the Lord Jesus Christ, I think that will, the, that will be the best meaningful Christmas for you. God bless you. Let us pray. Father, we want to thank you and praise you for the love, joy, peace that you have brought for us on this Christmas time. Even as we celebrate this holy of holidays, this Christmas season, O oh Lord, help us to focus on you alone, O oh Lord, and help us to be mindful of how we celebrate this Christmas. Bless all my viewers this Christmas time. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you and God bless you.